it's out trying to cut through it and then we're going to go the other way and make X's all the way across it. Take some extra virgin olive oil, give it a good coat and just rub it in with your hand. Then give it a good dusting of some cracked peppercorn and some kosher salt. Give it a good sprinkling. For the inside of the pork belly, we're going to be using bone sucking sauce rub. The stuff is nice and sweet, so give it a good coating. Now just fold it up. We're going to place it in the Ziploc bag and let it sit in the fridge for around 24 hours. Take the flank steak and cut it with the grain. You want to make it a little under an inch each strip. Once it's all sliced, cut it in around three to four inch sections. Keep it nice and easy. We're going to be marinating it with some Kraft Zesty Italian dressing. Now we're going to cut up some garlic, onions, and green peppers to mix in with the steak. Take the flank steak that's been marinating, your green peppers, onions, and garlic, and mix it all together in a bowl. At this point, we're going to add some Wicked Gourmet Steak Spice. You can use whatever type of spice you like, or any type of ingredients that you love to taste. Mix it in there, and mix it all together. To make this easier to get together, we're going to be using this rib rack or roast holder. Put a piece of tin foil in here. And then we're going to line it with six strings of butcher's twine. Now just take your pork belly, unfold it, and put it in the rack here. Take the tin foil and put it just to the edge of the pork belly just to help hold everything in when we start filling it up. Now, just take your steak, green peppers and onions, and just start filling her up. Try and keep it as even as possible, spreading it out a little bit with the onions and peppers so you get a nice mixture. String under the pork belly makes it real easy. Just take your string and tie it up. Just before putting it on the spit, take a piece of tin foil, wrap it up a few times, and just push it through. It's going to help hold everything in. All prepped and looking great. Let's go get it on the grill. Get your grill set up for indirect cooking. We're using burners 1 and 3 and have our Maverick ready check on the grill to keep a good eye on the temperature. To add a little smoke flavor, we're going to be using some Hickory Mojo bricks. To use a Mojo brick on your gas barbecue, it's real easy. No need to soak, just remove the grate, place the brick over a flame, and set your grate back on. We've got the barbecue sitting at 270 degrees with that belly roll spinning around for just under two hours. Let's take a peek. Looking good. You can see that Mojo brick is still smoking away. Let's go in, check the internal temperatures. Sitting at 148, call it 150. 152. Now what we're gonna do is crank up the heat on the two side burners and light this back burner and get it cranked up to around 400 degrees. With the temperature turned up, we're gonna get a nice crust on the outside. Belly rolls almost done. Check it out. Getting a nice crust on the outside for a nice bark. We're gonna give it another minute or two and then we'll take it off. Let's cut it down the middle, see how it looks. Woo. Belly roll, all done and looking great. It's easy to do, barbecue food for you, Give it a try.